Dude, so welcome back. Today I'm gonna get into how to make beats for people like Trippy Red and Chief Keef. And since Trippy Red dropped mansion music a couple weeks ago, I thought this would be the perfect time to make this video. So let's get right into it. So I already made the beat, so I'm gonna start deconstructing the melody first. As you can see, I use six sounds for the melody, and I start out with uh, Xenology. I use the Fantasy V preset right here, uh, and I start out on 163 BPM in C minor, and I lay down this melody right here. So I started with this part right here. But to kind of get a bounce going, kind of get a foundation going for the melody. So I start out with this C5 right here. What I did is I layered two octaves on top of it. Uh, also the C notes, C6 and the C7. Then I also layered it down one octave to C4 just to add some low uh, frequencies and some higher frequencies. So then I laid this melody down right here to kind of get a rhythm going. After that, I just copied that part over and kind of switched it up right here. And I also added this G right here to kind of switch it up from the first bar to kind of make it sound unique, sound different. So without it, it would sound like this. And with it, it would sound like this. And that just makes the chord sound a lot different compared to this one right here. But I just copied that over, uh, but I changed the root notes right here at the end of the, the fourth bar. So it goes from C right here to D sharp, uh, and I also pitched that up an octave. And then lastly right here, I added this little tension note right here, as I told y'all before. Uh, just following the scale and going up half a note really adds a lot of tension and makes it sound dark. And I also added this little note right here at the top just to add some like high frequency to the melody. So then what I did is just copied it over one more time, uh, but I once again changed up the root notes at the end. So instead of making it go up to D sharp once again, I made it go up to F and G right here, uh, just to kind of switch it up. So for the effects on that melody, uh, apparently did not touch the EQ at all. But I added some reverb to it, uh, and I believe this is the stock preset. I just messed with the low cut a bit uh, and turned the mix out to 70%. Next, I went into Keyscape right here, used the LA Custom C7 Watch preset, and I turned off the reverb because I wanted to add my own reverb. And I laid down these notes right here, just following the root notes and just copying it over uh, like three times, just filling up the octaves, filling up the frequency spectrum. And with the main melody, it sounds like this. That perfectly adds on to the main melody we already had. So for the effects to make it sound more clean, I lowered some of the low mids and I boosted some of the high mids. Once again, added some reverb, same preset we had on the main melody. And I also turned that down to like 20% uh, just to kind of make it sound more subtle. Then I went into Synology again, used the Brass 1 preset. And I basically just copied over the MIDI we had for the piano. Just copied it straight over, uh, just to kind of layer it with the piano. Uh, and that's what that sounds like. To make it sound less muddy, I cut some of the lows out, lowered some of the mids, and boosted some of the, the high mids right here. And then once again, just added the same reverb preset. Uh, it's kind of blended in with the other melodies we had. Y'all yeah, know I couldn't forget about the glow lead, bro. Uh, so I went to the art multi-layer right here in Electra X, used the analog aliens preset, and I turned off synth 1, 2, and 4. Laid down these notes right here, and that really gives that authentic, like, Chief Keef uh, glow feel. Then I went to add like one more top melody. I went to Keyscape again, use the same watch preset as we used before. And I copied over the MIDI we had for the main melody right here, but I took the low notes and the high notes out. Also pitched it up a couple octaves to kind of add that high pitched piano to it. So with the root notes we already had laid down on the piano, uh, perfectly complements it and sounds like this. I purely added that for like a switch up in the beat. And lastly, to add some low into the melody, I used a growl and move bass. Y'all see me use this all the time. Uh, and I basically just followed the root notes and kind of added some high pitch notes right here. And that just fills up the low frequencies we were missing in the melody. So it's just like this. So then as usual, I just rendered every single instrument out individually, laid it down right here, and I rendered it out, then I put some drums under it. So let's get into that. 
And as y'all know, bro, all the sounds I used in this beat came from my rookie season drum kit right here. Got 808s, bonus loops, claps, some effects, some hi-hats, some kicks, open hats, perks, snares. So basically just all the drum sounds you'll ever need, bro. So make sure to get the kit first link in description. So I sent the sample to my boy 808 Leak. He laid down some starter drums and then I later spiced them up. So starting out, just laid down a clap right here and a basic two-step hi-hat pattern uh, with some rolls added. That sounds like this. On the start of the second bar, we got this roll right here with some two accent notes uh, before it just kind of faded into the roll. So without the rolls, it would sound like this. And with the rolls, it sounds like this. Sounds a lot better in my opinion. Kind of fades into the roll. Sounds a lot cleaner. Next, just copy that straight over and add a little roll on top right here and a little roll that goes down after this roll right here. Just to make it unique from this part we have right here. And then once again, just copy that over. That's it for the highest and the clap. And we laid down this open hat right here. Basically starting out with two open hats right here. Then we got one on the third bar and one right before the fourth bar. And copy that straight over and just added one more open hat in the middle of these two right here. So next we laid down the 808 right here. So the 808 just follows the root notes right here. We started out with three 808s at the beginning. Following the root notes, just kind of added these little like double notes in between. Just kind of spice it up a bit. Next, copy that straight over, but put the last notes up a couple notes just to follow the root notes. Then for the second part of the hook right here, add this little perk. <laughs> That adds a lot more bounce to the beat, kind of fills up some empty gaps. Since the melody was already crazy by itself, didn't add too many drum sounds, so lastly just added one little snare. So I laid down these little accent notes right here and leak added this little roll at the end. That sounds like this. These notes right here are just added for some bounce to kind of fill up some empty gaps. Next for the snare roll right here, just made it go down, also made it go down the velocities a bit and pen it out from left to right to give it some space. Now lastly for the drums, just added a crash on every 8 bars, added some transitions and some risers, and that's really it. Yeah, that's how I make beats for people like Trippy Red and Chief Keef. So I hope y'all learned something from this video, man. Make sure to let me know in the comments what y'all trying to see next. Also make sure to grab my kit down below if you need some hard drum samples, and don't forget to subscribe. Bro. Close to 5k, so really appreciate y'all for that. Yeah, that's it for me today, bro. So I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.